Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more Stellaris. I'm Real Video Scalvin, where we're undergoing intense warfare and ass kicking the enemy. So, yeah, you guys are all just gonna run away now. Or actually try and hide on the planet. It's a valid thing to do. Don't worry, we'll come and take you out. We both know that you don't have much left, so it won't be too hard. That said, you guys, uh, head to Myas. Oops. No. Uh, wrong transport fleet. Right, you, you guys land here. Sorry, it's you guys I want to get. You guys are coming to Myas. Let's go. Alright. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their their ability to retake their home planet was very temporary and mostly irrelevant. The Honam system. Yeah, they're starting to push their way out into the core worlds again, which isn't too surprising. And there's not much I can do about it, so. I'm just going to focus on uh, absolutely kicking their ass at every conceivable point. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you guys are in the Maya system. Good. Oh, no, that's our transport fleet. Carry on. Like I said, at this point I'm looking to try and take out uh, these lesser players from the war. Complete and total control over them is the important thing that we're going for here. And then we'll probably take over the Donovan Dorbolan Confederacy or whatever these horse-headed guys are. Yeah, keep going. Anomalies are always good. All right. Iron Age civilization. All right. Good. Hmm. Notably, we need to get a another colony ship sent out here. These guys are still building their spaceport. Hey, you guys. I want a few more colony ships, if you don't mind. Are you guys slowly returning to the uh, actual Imperial ethics? Over time, or...? I think I think so. Yeah. It, it looks like it. With ethics divergence being negative, they should return to uh, the ethics. One thinks. I, th I assume that's how it works. I mean, even if we go out here as far as, say, the ring world, that joyful thing, gotta be helpful, right? Yeah. Okay. So, the yeah, distance from capital, we just can't overcome that. <laughs> that is That is really hard to overcome. So, as we expand throughout the galaxy, we're going to be finding that uh, there's no way to keep our empire ethically together. It's just something we have to uh, have to accept. That's fine. Yeah. Great pyramid. Hmm. So, the Gaia world continues to starve. I mean, I'm not particularly... Yeah, remarkable. No deceptive giant. Yeah, I'm not particularly surprised you idiots all decided to migrate here when there was literally no infrastructure for such. Good work. Setting up that planet will take a while.
But yeah, minus our capital. All of our core worlds are 25, so it's actually pretty good. The amount of production we have here. Not terrible. And everyone's happiness is kind of intact, so I think we're just going to demolish these <laughs> paradise domes a little bit. Yeah. The Xeno Zoo is enough. I mean, really, if they just lose their friggin' xenophobia, it'd be real nice. Like these guys, yeah, full happiness. I don't think the Paradise Dome is necessarily needed, but... What do you produce? Enough energy credits for me to want to build a, uh... Butcher Mahoos, it's... Garanthium works. This is across, uh, the Empire. Like, construction time and building cost reduction. That's... that's pretty good. Hmm. Are there any other, like, uh, empire-wide things that I need to get? I don't think there are. Yeah, no. In that case, we'll actually get the Garanthium works. We'll start exploiting Garanthium more. Go. Alright. Okay, yeah. We've abandoned that. We're in Mayas right now. You can't land your armies. Not a chance that they'll survive. Okay. Man, time, uh, time ticks slower than the late game. Hostile fleet's present. I see. To the Jaradia Fawn system. Okay. I think that's a retreat. Once they saw what we had. Alright. Insector limit's not really particularly helpful. That's definitely not particularly helpful. Need a new scientist, though. Skill 3, starting is always nice. We also need this. Uh, Yeah, I mean, more armor, I guess. Fuck it, why not? Um, Sector limit's the cheapest, as is talent acquisition. We'll go with sector limit, I guess. We have a sector limit of 23, though, so I'm not too concerned. Admittedly, my sectors are pretty powerful, but it's not that big a deal, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It's one pot belonging to each of those factions. So, the democracy is practically not a problem for us at all. Yeah. Democracy is not not at all going to be a problem for us. The Loyalists are easily in control of most of the vote. 75% of it, even. I see, there appears to be people following that fleet. Go and uh, show them a good time, would you? Okay. Alright. Good. So, Kotrab's fallen back under our control again. So we're now up to 18%. And when you're done... Uh, no. Head here first. Then head here. You guys just embark and return to here. Alright. Good. Almost done. And 
around on the surface. Still not up doing this upgrade, even. Yeah, this is... Uh, I'm not sure what everyone's I big idea was coming here like this, but we're taking it. Best we can hope for. Because... People are unhappy due to starvation. Yeah. Not helpful. And finishing in one year. In that case, uh, we'll swap you guys. That way you guys leave. Doesn't matter about you. Alright. So... Here's your everything. All you've got left. Your, uh... Your last ships, your last planets. Let us begin. This is the, uh... This is the final occupation of your, uh, fucking little... League. Hmm. Of course, we'll research it. Transport ships are instantly obliterated. Good. Apparently, they're not warping out. So, let's kill them. Nice. All right, and begin the orbiting. All right. And then Kimathar will be next. Lots of lots of little planets that we need to uh, annex at the same time. Like we can we can vassalize and take a planet. So we can annex these one planet miners pretty easily. As we vassalize the Zyron Union and the Eustace Grand Duchy and the Dorblin Confederation at some point. Let's out in the mines. Gain a mining station. Sure. Uh, that seems pretty good. A mining station. Alright. Hey, it's for energy. Hard to complain. Although I don't get any of it. It's going all to my sector. Yeah. Uh, not enough for you guys, I'm afraid. Alright. Let's try and get our uh, stuff together here. Okay. Okay, you guys are there. In that case, uh, we'll gather you guys on this. Alright. Wait, what? You guys have... Do you guys have jump drive? Okay. They're not actually going to make it because they that's an allied wormhole in this area, but sure. Hopefully they will figure it out eventually. Um That's concerning. I, I can't help but notice that they've been spreading a lot. Uh, which system was it? Bango? No, uh, Akibus? One of the systems around here. Yeah. Has slowly been subsuming control over some random stuff. It's pretty concerning if they're starting to actually subsume control over people's planets. Alright. Yeah, you guys actually took a bit of damage from that. 
Don't worry, your next uh, your next plan is real easy. Practically no defenses. He's by comparison. Anyway, you guys guard that. Alright. So even though they're wounded, they'll have no problem cutting through this. Alright. Good. So, have you guys figured out that, uh... No. Apparently you can you have not. Good luck. Can't wait can't wait to see find out uh, what happens. Research complete. The planetary signal booster. Alright. I mean the problem is this stuff's so expensive, but sure. Okay. So a planetary signal booster means we can see even farther now. Ain't that something? Yeah. Scan range actually isn't that bad of an upgrade, I'm finding. Yeah, if I could learn, uh, I, well, I know how to colonize this tomb world. I should just colonize this tomb world outright. Though. For that, I would actually have to build another survey ship, I think. Because our current one is kind of evading hostiles, apparently. Well, if you don't mind, survey that system, would you? I mean, that's not exactly the path I was thinking you'd take, but sure. Mostly right now concerned about... Okay, there's no FTL snare. No FTL snare. I'm just checking the route for FTL snares. Again, no FTL snare. Hmm. Well, you guys plow in over top and uh, start doing your thing. Yeah, how goes uh, things here? Well, hopefully there'll be a little less starvation soon. You know, once this is upgraded. I feel like there'll be a lot less starvation. Especially since we can build, you know, uh, the domes. Hydroponics farms and that. It'll be helpful. All right. And so I'm going to set this plan up to be a massive research facility. Good. I mean, could just upgrade you again. We don't need that much more food. Well, we'll still need at least, uh, at least a single hydroponics farm. And those take a little less time to build, so go for it. That'll help. Empire wide, we have like fifteen, like fifty percent extra. So the amount of food we can gather out here is pretty good. Hopefully, this helps the uh, starvation issues. Yeah, there we go. And they're not even uh, not migrating anymore. Good. Yeah. The. Uh, the other thing I suppose we could do for aid is farming subsidies. There. That should help. Try, try and keep you guys nice and uh, nice and well fed here. Hostile fleets present. Fleet combat. Okay. Oh, good, you guys actually did make it out to Ambor. We're actually gonna try and terraform and colonize this tomb world. Doesn't really, don't don't really have a reason for it. Just you know, because I can. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be vassalizing the Usin's Grand Duchy in this war anyway, so might as well. I'm not gonna be pushing into anyone's borders with it. 
All right, you guys. Let's get you down here. Of course, they barely have anything defending themselves. All right. And yeah, you guys are just stuck there, unable to figure out why you can't warp. Tell you what, I'll give you a hand. Real nice hand. Go here, then go there. Yeah, that's that's definitely on their bug fixing chopping block right now, as far as I know. Alright. Personally, I wish I could just upgrade my goddamn things to jump drives. You guys can't jump, can you? Yeah, no, you're just erroring out. Because you can't freaking jump. Invalid command. Um, try this. I have to do some manual and creative ordering. Okay. I mean, really, I just care about that right now. And, uh, we have a construction ship, yeah? Can't build a terraforming station because it's not been surveyed. I'm pretty certain we can terraform the tomb world. Yeah. Alright. The second abyssal flotilla. I mean, they keep trying, but I don't think they're ever going to succeed. I'm mostly concerned about you guys right now. Try and get around them, would you? Although I think they're just retreating. Mm -hmm. Alright. Looks like they'll finally get, uh, get into Kochab soon. Alright. It's not bad, like, we can research this pretty quick. With our, uh, incredible amounts of engineering research. Alright. I've got two colony ships, I'm just kind of concerned about actually trying to use them right now. Probably should make the move, though. Start actually sending these colonies out. Out to the stars. Tundra world, Tundra world, and Tundra world. Lots of Tundra worlds. In the north here, anything uh, to colonize? Tropical, ocean, which I think we already got. Continental. Eh, ocean world. Well, let's colonize here. There you go. Currently working on it. Okay. Yeah, these guys are just running through building wormholes everywhere, which, I mean, on the plus side, I'll inherit all the wormholes, which could be useful for me later. Alright. You guys, keep building colony ships, because we're going to need them, as it turns out. Alright. Okay. And uh, I think we're going to end today's uh, episode here. Habitability is 0%. That said, assuming my uh, construction ship gets over here. This planet can't be terraformed. How is it that I'm supposed to... Uh Um, I can build synthetics on planets I don't own. Okay. Um, I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I sure. Like, colonize this. 
You want to play this colony on a pop? Like, we'll put the colony there. Everyone will be angry as fuck, but we might be able to actually clean it up. Give him some work. And some time. Or is it like a project for us to fix the planet? I know there's a way. Yeah. The adjacency effects are good, though. For uh, the research stations here. I know there is totally a way to fix this terrain. How? I have no idea. But, uh, can't figure it out. Anyway. For now, though, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Seriously. I'm kind of curious to see. Like, they aren't actually growing, are they? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Okay. So, they aren't actually growing. But, that's okay. That's uh, okay. Alright. I mean, maybe it's the right idea, actually. Just inhabit this thing with synthetic life. Fuck everything else. <laughs> that might be the best way to do it. Because there, there is good stuff to be had here. Um, each one of those does cost a little maintenance, but... Keeping those radioactive wastelands. Like, if I surround them... In, uh, in research. It's not bad. Like, if I put a research lab here, it, it'll get plus four, uh, society and physics. In addition to what it already produces. So, yeah, let's, let's see. Might, uh... Might be something under there, who knows. For for all synthetic pops or stop disassembly, I don't know. Um. Yeah, it appears we can't actually seem to do anything with it. Like, is there a way to terraform now? This planet can't not be terraformed. Not sure. I'll figure it out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin. Signing off.